Hello guys, in today's video, I will show you how to generate less encrypt certificate with the AMC shell script on a TrueNet scale. So first thing, if you haven't done so, you have to change the um, local domain to uh, the fully qualified domain name. So in order to do that, you can navigate it to a uh, network and under the uh, global configurations settings. From here, you can change the host name or the domain name to the quali uh, fully qualified uh, domain name or FQDN. So my uh, FQDN is sysadmin102.tech. Uh, host name, I gotta change this to something else in Audi as I uh, TrueNest to another VM. I'm gonna call it TrueNest Scale 102. And we're gonna go down and we're gonna save it. Alright. So, in order for this to take uh, effect, you have to restart the uh, TrueNest. So, we're gonna go ahead and do that. One. Restart. All right, now that it restarted, we're gonna go ahead and log back in. Okay, notice how the hot names, it changed to the uh, FQDN, trunescale.sysadmin102.tech. So now you can log in using that uh, FQDN instead of uh, using the IP address. All right, the next step, we're gonna head to uh, credentials and uh, certificates. So as you see, uh, IX system actually included ACME DNS authenticator. However, uh, the only two A uh, DNS API they included is uh, for Cloudflare and the other one at Rail 53. Uh, Cloudflare is a um, common uh, DNS uh, or domain provider for uh, most of um, commercials and so is Route 53 which is AWS not a lot of um, it's not a popular choice for a like, personal use ACME um, self script actually enlists, uh supported a lot of um, uh, DNS API uh, I don't know why uh, IX system decided they only included to in the G, uh, GUI for the DNS authenticators. Um, if you have a uh, loud flares or the Route 53, which is AWS, uh, you can use the GUI to uh, set up your less encrypt certificate. If not, uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna go to the next step. All right, in the next step, we're gonna install the ACME.NH cell script. So in order to do that, you're going to have to uh, system settings and select uh, shell. All right, I'm going to make the font size a little bit bigger so it's easier for you to follow along. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, head to the ACME official GitHub and copy the uh, command to install it online. So I'm going to copy the first command and uh, the email. Uh, use any email that you want to get notified about the certificate. Uh, it's gonna let you know whether the certificate about to expire, whether it failed to renew, or um, the certificate that already expired. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in here. And the email I'm gonna use is uh, tech support at sysadmin102.com. All right. All right. Next step, we're gonna uh, provide the credential for the um, ACME script to authenticate our uh, DNS. So it really depends on uh, what kind of um, service provider you're using. For me, I'm using the cloud DNS. So in order to provide the uh, um, uh, credentials. I'm gonna use the command uh, export cloud sub uh, out ten ID. All 
I'll paste it in here and get my uh, Altena ID, uh, sub Altena ID from the Cloud DNS. So for Cloud DNS, the API, it has full access to all domain and uh, settings. The sub ID, uh, it, uh, it have a little bit more uh, limitations, a limit by uh, the amount of zone or the amount of mail forwarding it have access to. So it's better for security. So the sub ID is 16097. Okay. 16097. Actually put it in the quotation mark. 16097. 16097. Yep. Enter. And next we're going to provide a password. So the password is going to be export out 10 and then password. Okay. And the password that uh, says admin 102. There we go. All right. Now that we've provided the um, credential for Cloud DNS, the next step is to uh, issue the certificate. So the command is going to be a uh, acme.edh dash dash issue and then that dash dns dns so for this one you're gonna release this with whatever your um, dns api is so for me at the uh, dns underscore cloud um, dns for the api and it's gonna be um, you can specify the key lanes by using dash dash key lane to customize the key lane. Otherwise, you can use uh, the default setting, which is fine. 496 and dash D for the domain. And we're going to put the true NAS in here. True NAS scale. 102.sit admin 102.tech Make sure you to check your spelling. If it's wrong, uh, then it's not going to be working. And once you've done that, hit enter. Alright, if everything runs smoothly, you have the, um, you should have something similar like this on your screen. If you get the timeout, uh, just rerun the script again, uh, and it should be working just fine. And this is where the location that um, the uh, let encrypt certificate stores on your um, true NAS. The next step is to generate the new um, API key, so we can deploy the certificate on uh, true NAS. So you can navigate to the settings and then API key. All right, and we're going to add a new uh, API key. We're just going to name it cert deploy. Add a new one. All right, and we're going to copy that API key to clipboard. And I'm not going to open up the text file and paste this in there. I'm going to go ahead and close this. We can go back to the system settings and then uh, shell. Alright, I'll make the font bigger. So next step, we're going to launch the, uh, copy the Python shell that made by the user DNB35 on a TrueNAS forum to deploy the certificate. So when you're using this command to download, hit the Python script. Okay. All right, you can use the list command to see it's actually successfully downloaded. Okay, you can see that it uh, successfully downloaded uh, under deploy uh, under uh, the deploy dash free NAS uh, folder. Next step is we're gonna change the directory to that folder. So cd and deploy free NAS. Do a list command again. So in here they have the readme uh, file. Uh, it also have a deploy underscore config dot and 
deploy underscore freeness dot py for python so in order to uh, use this script you have to create a config file so we're going to use nano text editor and open the deploy config symbol so we can create a config file around that I'm going to click on the control O to write out a new file and I'm going to use the backspace to delete our dot symbol and enter yes to set up as a new file control X we can uh, use the list command again and as you see now we have the new file it's called deploy underscore config we're going to edit that file using the nano text editor okay and uh, it's not recommended to use the root username and password in plain text so we're going to disable that using the hashtag icon and um, we're going to delete out that one to add the uh, um, API key that we generated earlier enter and put in the new API key in there remove the space too alright okay and control X Y to save it okay next step is we're gonna deploy the um, certificate to your uh, to uh, the true nav so the command gonna be acme dos in concert dash d okay and it's gonna be a true nav scale 102 dot sysadmin 102.tech and then we're gonna add the reload command reload cmd quotation mark deploy dash freeness And then it's going to be a deploy underscore freeness dot py and quotation mark again and enter. Okay, so the certificate uh, import successful. All right. should restart a web interface okay we're gonna log back into uh, true now okay now that you head over to uh, credentials and uh, certificate you will see that it have um, it now have the certificate generated by less encrypt and up here you still see that red icon that is because this is HTTP not HTTPS so in order to uh, redirect to HTTPS we have to go to um, system setting and then general and under settings we're gonna change this uh, enable the web interface HTTP to HTTPS redirect and we're gonna save it and confirm all right and now that it restart we log back in 
and there we go it's no longer red because the, the certificate is uh, certified by um, lead encrypt or uh, it's zero SSL All right, and lastly, we need to create a cron job, so that is automatically renew the certificate. We don't have to manually uh, run the script. So in order to do that, you can would navigate it to uh, System Settings, and then select Advanced. Under cron jobs, we're gonna add a new one, and we're gonna call it uh, Let Encrypt Renewal. And the command, Dan already provided command for us, so we're just going to copy and paste that command. And we're going to run it as a root user. And we're going to run this uh, weekly. And I'm going to go ahead and set the cron job. And we can test it out by uh, run the job. Okay, it's completed successfully. All right, and uh, that's it for uh, today's tutorial, guys. Okay? If you think the tutorial is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and uh, if you don't like watching video, you can uh, head over to my uh, blog uh, or forum. I will be uh, posting the tutorial for this. Uh, in my uh, log and as well as my forum. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye bye.